Sid, you've been having a lot of special programs during this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, what have the profits been telling you? Uh, the profits are amazing profits because we have documented on film that they spoke these words before the events happened. Uh, and so they're not echoes, they are voices of God. Uh, I'll start out with Tracy Cook on January 15th of 2020. This is the word that he released. He said, God is going to change the landscape of the church. Unravel the grounds that you walk on. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken in the next four months. And you know what's so amazing? He also had a dream about the, uh, the laboratory in Wuhan, China, and he actually saw the virus being created. And when that happened, he saw the reason behind it. There was a motivation. The press doesn't know this, uh, but yeah. God's prophets know this. Yeah. Uh, the motivation was uh, the next election to stop Trump from any, in any way mm -hmm. to win. That was the mm -hmm. purpose. And he saw some pretty diabolical things coming, I might add, uh, from China. He, he saw, he said, be really careful if you get a vaccination uh, of any mm. sort from China. Then Hank Kuhneman, and this is, this is so wonderful because it involves Israel. Uh, Hank, Hank Kuhneman talked about new inventions coming out of Israel. Uh, and he said that he saw a light that people are wear around their neck like a necklace and if they have heart trouble it'll heal their heart hmm. it'll get rid of diseases uh hmm. it's just medical breakthroughs he, uh, he many of the prophets said to me they see the absolute cure for this thing and and, and the um uh, and the prevention the vaccination for it coming out of israel now that's pretty exciting sid was there also a message of what of, to the church to repent and get right with God at this time? Very, very strong. The major mark, if you will, of this next move of God's spirit is repentance. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the most amazing thing happens to me almost every time I go to Israel. I have large evangelistic meetings, um, a thousand, I mean, unsaved Jewish Israelis. And because the glory, the kabod, the manifest presence of God is so strong, literally, uh, there is 90%, uh, 95% of these mm -hmm. unsaved Israelis stand up right after that many have been healed right in their seats. And, and, and they say a pr public prayer of salvation. So I am absolutely excited about the new beginning that God is giving the church. And it starts with us as individuals by living in rapid repentance. Yeah. I can also tell you this glory that is actually erupting now and I believe at Pentecost, many that are, say, it's a 50 days from Pesach, from Passover, uh, Shavuot, Pentecost, I believe many should set their faith to operate in the glory because it's not going to be a superstar movement. It's going to be one where the church knows we already have a superstar. His name is Jesus or Yeshua. Mm -hmm. And it's Yeshua in us, the hope of glory. I was privileged to see a prophecy written by a great evangelist called Smith Wigglesworth. And he had a vision of the end time revival. God calls it the greater glory. I'm calling it the greater glory because it's a glory that we Jewish people have never seen before. And we Christian people have never seen before.
It's as a matter of fact, Wigglesworth, who saw every miracle in the Bible, actually said it's a hundred times more powerful than anything I have ever walked under. Mm. And I, I, can't, I can't even put my brain around that, Chris. A uh, hundred times more. I mean, the dead were raised, the blind could see, the deaf could hear. Maybe it's what Yeshua said. You, that's me, that's you, Chris, that's our viewers right now. Mm -hmm. You will do the same works I have done and even greater. And I have to tell you, if that doesn't excite you to be able to walk in this, this is the generation. Wow. Well, thank you, Sid, for being with us, and uh, thanks for the encouraging word and, and all the work you do to get these, uh, these important messages out to the world. Hey, guys, it's Ashley with 700 Club Interactive. Hey, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to our subscribers. By you doing that, we are able to continue to put out encouraging content during a really difficult time where people just need hope and faith in their feed. So thank you so much for doing that. And if you haven't subscribed, do so today.